My name is Bimbo Adimwe. I'm 26. I'm an actor and an entrepreneur, and I'm a Broadway TV. That would be 2014, sometime, sometime in January 2014. That was the first time that, you know, I officially heard the word action. I, I've lost count, not because um, I don't know book, but you know, I've just, but I, I would say, I, I can say that I'm up to 40, 50, 30, I don't know, but you know, it is up to that amount, if not. Being easy, but God has been very faithful. When I first started, I went through what every actor, what, or I would say most actors would go through, which is you know the audition process. You go for auditions in places that you know maybe you live in Aja, and then you go for auditions in Ikorodu. Then they don't call you back, or they promise to call you back, and you know the people will call you back for something stupid, like one of the judges calling you to come go have lunch, or all those type of things. It wasn't an easy journey, but. You know, at the end of the day, I um, met um, some people in the industry. For instance, Udwak Isong, who has been a major backbone for me, and it's been—I won't say blissful, but it's been smooth. And I look forward to more jobs and more works along the way. I had no idea. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, how do I deal with male admirers? Uh, to be honest, I really don't think I'm used to this life right now where you go somewhere and um, somebody knows you. Like, I still see myself as the random girl on the streets who just can walk and, you know, go and buy Boli and Granoto or Amala or something. But um, how I deal with the admirers, I try as much as possible to draw them close and still push them away at the same time. I don't know if you understand what I mean, like, oh, hi, darling, thank you so much, um, I'd like to know you, no thanks, bye. I do know how I've been blessed enough, or I would say maybe I haven't gotten to that level yet, but I haven't gotten any negative comments so far. It's all love, like I'm even amazed. Sometimes I wish I could ask my dad, do you have kids outside? Because the way these people love me, I don't understand. Like, are we siblings or what? Because it's just very, it's unbelievable, it's undescribable how they just come to your Instagram page and just show you love all the way, you know. Just, you check on Twitter, they're commenting all positive things and you're like, what is going on? This is so good to be true. But that's how it's been so far and I'm really thankful. I love all of them and I'm super grateful that, you know, they're on my side. Jehovah. Y'all didn't tell me I was going to answer this. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'm single. Yeah, sure. If it's responsible, if you have sense. And, um, yeah, responsibility, sense, and, uh, you know, God-fearing. That's cliche, but, yeah, I still want it. I want what I want. I don't know. I've never been married before, so I really can't advise anybody on marriage. However, I always tell people the difference. I think the difference between marriage and relationship is just the band. I've been in relationships where I wasn't happy and I just had to like stay there because I didn't want to not have a boyfriend. But at the end of the day, when I walked out, I realized that I could. I, sh I wish I'd, I'd done that a long time ago. I found myself, I was happy and I'm doing good. Yes, I, I don't want to be single forever, but, you know, if that's what it takes to, you know, be happy in life, then do it. So, I wouldn't say, oh, um, it's a bad thing that marriage crash, like people, like you guys will say, it's who wears the shoes that know where it pinches. Only God knows what the man is going through or what the woman is going through that made them go their separate ways. If going their separate ways will make you happy, then please, have at it. Hmm. Dear future husband, if you're watching, that don't mean you should go and cheat, but yeah, I can. Yeah, I'm old school, yes. Like, 
the man is the king, the woman is the queen. I'm not really a fan of this whole king woman. No, the woman is the queen, the man is the king. He's the head of the family. The woman is, I don't know how, maybe like let's say, um, like a boss or something. Yes, the woman is the, is she a driver or the conductor? I don't know, but yeah. Anyways, the, I feel like, yeah, I feel like men are always, you know, superior. But I'm sorry, let me just chip this in. I don't really care. As long as I'm doing what I'm doing, making my money and I'm happy, I don't care who's above. I'm okay with the level I am and trying to push myself up forward. So, so yeah, I made a superior. No. Do I need to spell it out? N O. That's not going to happen. What relationship, any relationship that means me giving up my career is not even healthy for me to start with. So that is not, if my father can make me go into this career that I'm in, then sorry husband or boyfriend. Take a walk. Bye. Oh my God. <laughs> can I choose international? <laughs> I know you said industry, but can I go international? Or oh, I have to stay, I have to stay within? If I were to be in a relationship, that's you trying to stylishly ask who my crush is. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I don't really, um, I don't really say, I, I, I can't really say I have a crush on anybody, but I would say I do admire John DeMello. I do admire, um, who else? I do admire Aina, Aina Omui Gray, and uh, yeah, I think that's, that's about it for now. And I, I love all my co-actors and colleagues and all that, don't get me wrong, but yeah, those are the people that I do, you know, I would stop what I'm doing to watch the movie and yes, I would go on a date with them. The whole, you know, everybody, the, the um, not giving people chances, I mean, we have hundreds of if not thousands of people out there who are very, very talented, you know, but there's nobody wants to take the risk you hear things like oh I can't put her in my I can't give her the lead role because she's not known I mean people that are playing the lead role now because they're known were once not known so how about you give people like down there chances and stop trying to make you know superstars mega superstars and then people down there just nobody's like give everybody a chance the sky is big enough for everybody to fly I don't believe it at all. It's, it's I mean, you're a I'm very traditional, I'm very old school, it's sacred, and I don't think it should be done outside marriage. No. Well, man proposes, heaven opposes, but I see myself in Hollywood. I see myself uh, receiving an Emmy, and by God's grace, I hope God sells signs and delivers it. Amen. Okay, I'm not going to judge anybody. I don't have anything to say to them because, like you said, some of them want to do it. Some of them are doing it for the money. I'm not um, supporting it and I'm not against it. At the end of the day, we're all going to land in front of our Lord God and personal Savior to receive judgment. So it's not in my position to say do this or do that. So um, do what you have to do and live your life. God bless you. Well, I'm not rushing, but if he happens that I want to, I would. But now I'm, I ju I'm enjoying my life being an actor. Um, I, I wouldn't really say I faced any challenge. I'm, I was raised by a single parent. I know you're thinking the mother, but no, in my case, it's the father. My father raised me by himself with my siblings, and you know, we were able to scale through all the hurdles. I mean, I have an amazing dad. I love you, daddy. And, um, you know, um, we went through our trials and triumphs. We cried and laughed together, and we're here today. Yeah, I don't think I faced any. Oh, maybe aside from the fact that I like food. Is that the type of challenge you're asking? I like food. And they didn't used to give me all the time I asked for it.
We have people who, uh, you know, they give birth, like have like four to five kids for the same man and you're wondering, oh, why are you not married, why are you a baby mother? Then this brings me to the instance where people are together for 10 years and they're not even married for up to two years. So it's healthy for some people, it's not for, for other people. But at the end of the day, like I would say, do your thing and live your life. If being a baby mother makes you happy, then pump all the babies you want to. Open a baby daycare center if you have to. I don't do, you have misconceptions about me? I really, I, I'm surprised, I don't know. Do, if you have anything, please let me know. I, I, I don't know about anything. I mean, like I said, nobody has ever come to say anything in the platforms where they can contact, like Instagram or Twitter or anything. So I really don't think anybody has anything about me. Okay, for the 10th time, I'm old school. I'm very traditional. I think that's crap. I mean, also, we have some spouses that can be very frustrating. Like, you just, you probably have inferiority complex in them because she's making more money than you. That's when you realize that is the moment she's going to work, you want her to come and fire plantain for you. Chill, calm down. However, like, I don't think any woman, regardless of how much more money you make, should ever be not submissive to her husband. Because at the end of the day, that's the head of the family, whether or not you like it. No, not that I've noticed. I don't think so. I mean, my, my Nollywood mother is Kalaba and I'm Yoruba, so... Udwaki is song. Hi, mommy. There's no tribalism whatsoever. Um, like, in the sense that, I would say, it's auditions are not always what they seem to be, in the sense that I went for an audition one day and this young man called and um, texted me after the whole audition and was like, I should come clubbing, which I obviously declined. and. You know, at the end of the day, he kept on ringing my phone saying he wanted us um, to go out on dates. So I just remember me asked him, like, what about the audition that you called for? He said he only did it to create awareness for that spot. That's why he held it at that spot, that he wanted people to know about that venue. And then you waste people's time, money. I mean, for us, well, hustlers, we're coming for auditions. We probably gathered our last 500 and I take a bus to you, and then you would do that only because you wanted them to know that there was a club somewhere so i mean i've had instances like that so you have to be careful and we've had um situations where people will go for auditions and then they get there they're kidnappers so you just it's not always as it seems but you just have to be careful and you have to be very watchful the auditions that you go for i mean i know we're all hustling to be people you know to be where we are and, you know to follow our dreams at the end of the day but just watch it huh? yes i do my sister just got married recently and everybody at the venue was like, where's your husband? When is he your turn? And I'm looking at them like, you need where the, where's the application form so I can fill it? Searching for a husband. But yeah, I do, but at the end of the day, I don't let it get to me because, you know, it's not how far, but how well. We see people who get married and have kids in the space of one year and, you know, living happily ever after. And we see people who, you know, have married since they were 10 and they probably don't even have a husband today. So, it happens when it happens. Forgive me if I'm offending anybody, but I think it's disgusting where you put everything and anything on social media because at the end of the day, when something goes wrong or when it doesn't even go wrong, people would come for you. Say you put a picture of your husband or, you know, you guys are being cuddling or you put a picture of your life and everything all the time people would create things that are not there for you the day you don't put it is the day that you you see you know bloggers or everything saying is there trouble in paradise because you let them know what paradise is all about i mean i'm not saying don't put up your husband's picture every once in 10 mondays to just show him as your mcm but like don't let us know everything that's happening i always use this as an example like only god knows how many times beyonce and jay-z have broken up but you cannot know because they won't let you into their life i really i really can't pinpoint but i would say versatility being able to be anybody and everybody without being apologetic for it being able to be, you know, they say one, two, three, go bimbo, be sexy, and then you're like, one, two, three, go bimbo, be mad, and you know, not mad, okay, maybe not mad, but yeah, the 
being gonna be crazy or anything like just being able to be anybody and anybody and you know people should be able to relate and not still see the real you say for instance the real me is somebody who's always joking and very playful and they ask me to come play stern boss you know you should be able to let people be like oh i didn't know she had that in her oh my god like i didn't know she was that kind of person almost believable so yeah i think that's what makes a good actor i would um this character in game of thrones i don't know i think they went for uh, meet and greet or something and then she said one of the people spat on her and said i hate you because she played the character so well so yeah that's kind of what makes a good actor If it's going to, if it's going to pass, it depends. I would, it depends. I'm sure you're trying to ask if I would go naked, but yeah, if it's going to pass the message, yes, then I will. If full nude is going to pass, I'm sorry, Dad. If you're, <laughs> please, I'm not changing my son and my father disowned me. But yeah, I mean, okay, there was this movie I watched where the lady had cancer, and then there was a point where she was supposed to just go angry and start yelling at god like why me you claim to be you know the most high and you can't do anything you know tearing her clothes and everything until she was completely naked i would do that because you have to pass the message i lost my stepmom to cancer so i know the pain like somebody can go through to lose someone maybe not the pain of cancer but you know if it's going to pass a very deep message across then yes In three words, I love you. Thank you for supporting me. You guys make me feel like we're siblings and I appreciate all of you. That's more than three words, but okay. Yeah, when a director was trying to be funny, you know, a married man at that, he probably just had a kid the week before and he was telling me how much he loved me and wanted to be with me. It was disgusting. First of all, it wasn't my type because he had pot belly. Second of all, it was just disgusting. Hi, I'm Bimbo Ademoye, I'm an actor, and you're watching Broadway TV. Keep watching Broadway TV. They have amazing stuff to unveil for you.